Hey guys, in today's video, I'm finally going to be giving my full thoughts and a review of my Audio Technica LP60X BT after having it for three years. This was my first turntable. So I've had it for three years, but I've never actually made a full review video of it. I'll be letting you guys know if it still works after all this time, how's the quality after all this time, and any new pros or cons that I have noticed after owning this for a couple of years. I do have another turntable, which is a little bit of an upgrade from this one. And before I switch those two out, I wanted to make this video. Just as a disclaimer, I am not an expert when it comes to the technical side of this record collecting hobby. I don't know everything about turntables. I've just had to look stuff up and learn on my own. This is not sponsored. This is just my honest review. I did make an unboxing video for this turntable when I first got it. If you want to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description or at the end of the video. So again, this is my Audio-Technica LP60X Bluetooth model turntable. That means it's the Audio-Technica brand. It's the LP60X, which is an upgraded version from the LP60, and the BT means Bluetooth. This is a fully automatic, belt-driven turntable, and I think it's one of the very best beginner, entry-level turntables on the market right now. I got mine off of eBay, but you can find it on Amazon, Best Buy, I think Guitar Center as well, so there's plenty of options available. Available, you can still go and buy this turntable in 2023. So right out of the box, this turntable gives you everything that you need to get started listening to records. Well, almost everything included is a felt slit mat. You've got a 45 adapter so you can play your 45s. There's also an RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable. That's all included and this turntable can have the speeds of 33 or 45 RPM. One of the best functions about this turntable is that it's fully automatic and having it being automatic was super helpful while I was learning more about record collecting. This model has three buttons for start, stop, and there's also a button for lifting up the tone arm, which is kind of like a pause button, I guess. The tone arm is fully automatic and moves by itself. Um, when you press the start button, it'll just lift up and play the record on its own, which is nice. Or you do have the option of doing it manually with that up and down button on the far right. So you can do it either way. Once I got more comfortable with it, then I was able to move the tone arm myself if I wanted to, if I wanted to pick a different song in the middle of the record to play. So having those options was great. It also has an auto stop function, which is amazing. When the record is done playing, it will automatically stop and put the tone arm back in its place. So if you're in the middle of doing something and the record is over, you don't have to worry about it. It will automatically stop for you, which is really nice. All of those automatic features I think is really, really great for beginners. Um, like me, when I was starting out, it was super helpful to help me learn about how turntables work. And once I was comfortable with it, I could start doing those things manually if I wanted to. The model does not give you speakers and there are no built-in speakers, so you will need your own set of powered speakers to actually hear the records playing. For beginners, I think it's great that you can just use a pair of powered speakers because if you are going into this hobby knowing nothing, it's probably the easiest just to use powered speakers. That's what I did. This turntable was so easy to set up as soon as I got it and I unboxed it and it wasn't confusing at all. Again, going in I had absolutely zero knowledge about turntables and records and it was really easy and straightforward for me to get started. The model itself is very small and lightweight, which is nice. Um, I guess it could be seen as a pro or a con depending on how you look at it. It's easy to carry since it is light and since it is small. It does fit in a lot of spaces easier if you have a smaller setup or a small shelf or something to put it on. This record player is amazing. It will last you a very long time. It's lasted me three years already and I could probably have it for another three years. This turntable does have a built-in preamp so that's really great and you don't really need additional audio equipment. All you need, like I said, are a pair of speakers to get started. One of the cons about this turntable is that you cannot change the cartridge. This turntable has a built-in ATN3600L cartridge. It's not a super high quality one, but it's not low quality either. I'd say it's right in the middle. It's pretty decent for what it is. I haven't even changed mine out yet. Um, I don't think I've gotten to a thousand hours of playing, which is the recommended time to switch it out. But so far I've had no troubles with it. So I'd say it's a really decent quality one, especially if you're just getting started. It will last you a long time. 
but you cannot change the cartridge if you wanted to upgrade it. Unfortunately, um, you're not able to upgrade it. You can change the needle, so that's good, but you just can't upgrade the cartridge. Another con is that you can't adjust the tracking force that is fixed. The tracking force isn't too bad, honestly. I think it's like pretty decent from what I've read. I haven't tested it myself because I don't have the device to do that, but from what I've read, it's just pretty good. It won't damage your records. Um, it's not perfect, but it will be okay for a while until you upgrade your turntable. But if you wanted it to be absolutely perfect, unfortunately, you cannot adjust it. I have noticed that on this model, um, when the needle or the stylus comes down on the record, it does look like it's pretty fast and hard coming down on the record. I think eventually that could lead to some issues with my records. After a few more years, I might start noticing some damage to my records from that, which is why I'm very soon going to be um, switching to a different turntable. But if you're just starting your collection with this turntable, it should be fine for a couple of years until you upgrade. Another thing I've noticed, this isn't really a deal breaker. It's not that big of a deal, but um, the model is made out of plastic and it's not the best plastic. It's not super high quality. Looking at it from far away, it looks fine, but when you get up close and you start pressing all the buttons, it does kind of feel cheap. For me, it's not that big of a deal because I'm not like showing it off to anybody. It's in my room and you can hear when you press the buttons, it does sound kind of cheap. There's no power button either, which for me is okay because I have easy access to the outlet so I can just unplug the power supply and plug it back in, which basically turns it off and turns it on. This Audio-Technica turntable does not have a power button, so you do have to go to the outlet wherever it is if you want to play the record player. Let's talk about the sound quality because that is definitely a major player when it comes to turntables. Um, let's talk about the Bluetooth function first because I did buy this um, to have the Bluetooth capability. So my original intent with this turntable was to use my Bluetooth speakers with it. It was really easy for me and convenient. Um, I didn't know a lot about turntables back then, so going in knowing nothing, it was just easier for me to connect my Bluetooth speakers. But as I learned more, I was able to upgrade the sound quality a little bit. I stopped using the Bluetooth function. So I switched from a wireless connection to a wired connection and I did notice a difference in sound quality. It wasn't huge, but it was definitely a lot quieter, obviously. There was less static noise, um, and the record just played a lot smoother, I felt. Or the sound was a lot smoother, I should say. For the longest time, I couldn't even find a wire that would connect my turntable to my speakers because it's on the other side of the room and I couldn't find one long enough. And then after like a year and a half, I finally found one and I was able to um, turn off the Bluetooth function, but using the Bluetooth function for about a year to two years was actually not terrible. It did have a really nice, decent quality. So the Bluetooth function is really, really great for beginners. I know a lot of people do have Bluetooth speakers and Bluetooth headphones, so if you're looking for something convenient, this would definitely be the right turntable for you. And you do have the option, like I said, to have a wired connection, which in my opinion, um, because of my setup sounds a lot better. So you do have the option to do both. So that's why I got this turntable. I liked having the option. This Audio-Technica LP60X Bluetooth model is definitely way better than any suitcase model. If you're looking for something that is a little bit more of an upgrade from a suitcase model, definitely check out this turntable. It is more expensive than those models, but it's so worth it for everything that it has. This turntable is pretty affordable for the quality that it is. I would say it's definitely worth the money. It's easy to use, easy to set up. Pretty much everything is done for you because it's fully automatic and it's super, super convenient because of the Bluetooth capability. I haven't used any other similar brand. All I've used is Audio-Technica, so I don't really have anything else to compare it to, but I know a lot of other people do stand by this turntable model as one of the best ones on the market right now, especially for beginners. When I first got this turntable in the mail and I unboxed it and I filmed it, um, my very first impressions were that it was so good, so easy to use. I still stand by this turntable. I still love it. I use it all the time. And the pros, I think, definitely outweigh the 
cons. It's a very great beginner turntable. It would definitely last you um, a couple of years if you take good care of it. I think I could have this for probably up to five or six years. So that is my full honest review of my ATLP60X Bluetooth turntable after having it for three years now. Let me know if you guys have this turntable. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you think it's great for beginners and if you don't then let me know what turntable you use. If you have any questions about this turntable you can leave it in the comments below and again I'm not an expert on it but I'll try to do my best at answering any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!